Hey guys, this is Chris with uh, Second Chance Silverware Jewelry. Uh, I just wanted to make a couple announcements about the bender that I make and sell. And so let me get right into it then. Let me turn this camera around. Okay, for uh, any of you guys that are new to the group, uh, I make a version of the uh, Silverware Arbor Press bending tool. And uh, this is the one on my uh, on my Arbor Press. Uh, I put some new forms on there to make it look good. But I sell the here's the here's the tool. This is this and this are forms for uh, making bracelets, and this is a form for uh, making rings. And if you want to see how to use it, I've got a couple of videos on a YouTube channel if you want to pause this and uh, write that down second chance silverware jewelry on YouTube I did a video on how to make the uh, bracelets and one on how to make the ring so hopefully that'll help you out now one of the announcements I wanted to make I was charging 150 for these plus shipping and I decided uh, it would be easier all the way around and I'll tell you why in a minute that if I just include the shipping cost so it would be offering free shipping so I've gone up to 160 so you're still paying the same price uh, shipping around the United States have always averaged around nine dollars to twelve dollars so you know I went up I just was charging ten dollars for shipping so if it's more than that I'll pay it out of my own pocket so and the reason I'm doing that uh, is I'm going to start offering uh, international shipping on it so you guys in other countries that might want to buy a bender will uh, uh, here's your chance uh, I'm going to start doing it through the uh, what do they call it the eBay global uh, eBay global program or something like that so uh, when you buy one eBay is going to automatically tell you what all the uh, international shipping charges will be and all the tariffs and all of that basically I just ship it to their facility in Kentucky okay and I'm gonna pay the shipping for that that's where the ten dollars come in okay and then they take it from there. They're, they're going to ship it to you and charge you the international shipping and all of that. So uh, you can read up on all of that on eBay if you want to. Okay. And uh, if you want to buy one, you want to go to eBay and uh, search Silverware Arbor Press Bender Tool. I'm sorry, that should be Bending Tool, I believe. Silverware Arbor Press Bending Tool. I just wrote that wrong. Okay, if you can remember that bending tool. Okay, and like I said, if you live out of the United States, well, now here's your chance to buy one if you want to. I can't tell you how much the shipping charges to your country are going to be. It'll probably be pretty expensive, but uh, uh, that's what we got. Okay, now also. I've in the past haven't uh, been selling these forms separately uh, mainly because it's so expensive to buy this Delrin plastic okay it's very expensive so I usually only buy enough to make forms for the kits okay but I realized that uh, you know you guys have been buying the kits the forms aren't going to last you forever you can get three or four years out of them uh, in some cases but uh, anyway I've started uh, offering the forms on the eBay also okay now if you want to buy the forms you're going to want to go to eBay and search silverware I know this is long silverware arbor press bending tool replacement forms okay I'm going to charge Fifteen dollars a piece, and they're going to come in a set. I'm not going. I'm not going to ship them separately. They're going to be a three-piece set. Okay, it's going to be fifty-five dollars. That's forty-five for the forms and ten dollars shipping. 
I can ship them all in one of these flat rate boxes here which is $9.45 to ship it okay so they're gonna be $55 for all three forms Whew, gotta catch my breath now a side note and it will state this in the ad my bender tool has a 5 8 inch pin okay that's what this round one is made for 5 8 inch pin these forms will work with the other benders out there the flat wearable or whoever's you know if you made your own it, they will work the only difference is going to be and I have one of her old pins here off of one of her old sets she uses an 11 16th pin or used to I don't even know what's on there now but it's not going to fit this hole okay it's going to have to be bit drilled out bigger you're going to have to do that yourself, okay? These forms are made for my bender. It has a 5 8 inch hole, okay? If you want to work on your bender, you may have to drill this hole a little bigger, which is, won't be any big deal at all. Just get you the right size drill bit, put it in the clamp, and drill it. So this, this, is, this pin's like 1 16th bigger, so it's not going to work on that pin. 5 8 is what it's made for, okay. I put Velcro on all of my form. I have tried the magnets. I don't like them. I think the Velcro holds it much more steady, okay. You get two or three years out of the Velcro, and, uh, you know, then rip it off, go to Walmart, buy you some more, and, you know, replace it. It's very cheap, so love the Velcro. Okay, uh... I think that about covers what I wanted to say. Like I said, the uh, the forms and the kit are now uh, shipping internationally. Okay, so uh, just go on eBay and look that up, and we'll try to fix you up. So uh, that's all I got for now. Thanks a lot.